Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, began her solo whirlwind tour of Copenhagen, after experiencing a delay with her flight. Kate dazzled as she officially began her two-day visit to the Danish capital city. The Duchess of Cambridge landed in Copenhagen this afternoon, after she chose to undertake her brief trip aboard a scheduled British Airways flight rather than a private jet. Upon her arrival, she was welcomed by the British ambassador to Denmark Emma Hopkins. Kate paid tribute to the country hosting her for the next two days with her outfit, as she donned a red blazer above a white ruffled blouse, the colours of the Danish flag. The Duchess also donned a black pair of trousers and a white black bag as well as black heels. The Duchess is on a fact-finding trip to learn and better understand how Denmark has become a beacon in its approach to the early years and childhood development. Her first stop in this whirlwind tour was at the University of Copenhagen, when she learned more about the Copenhagen Infant Mental Health Project. This study is helping health visitors identify young children at risk of adverse social and emotional development. At the university, Kate met researchers working on the program as well as health visitors. For this visit, Kate changed the wide bag she used for traveling into a smaller black handbag. This solo trip marks the first time Kate has taken the work of the Royal Foundation Center for Early Childhood to the international stage. This is particularly poignant as the Duchess has deepened her interest in the early years and worked behind the scenes on the center for a decade before officially launching it in June. Kensington Palace marked Kate's arrival to Denmark by sharing on social media a video of the Duchess entering Copenhagen University. It also wrote on Twitter, We have arrived in Copenhagen. To learn more about Denmark's approach to early childhood development and explore how the Center for Early Childhood can take learnings from this world-leading work. The Duchess teased this visit earlier this month, when she shared on the Cambridge's official Twitter account a video showing her hands building a Danish flag with Lego bricks. In a personal message she signed off with her initials, Kate wrote, looking forward to learning from experts, parents and practitioners about Denmark's approach to early childhood later this month. Denmark is a beacon of best practice in its approach to the early years, with a culture which prioritizes the best start in life. Showing she was ready for her trip, she signed off the tweet saying Pas nalagt Jensen, which means see you soon in Danish. While this visit will be heavily focused on the early years and how to change the perception society have of this period of life and give children the best start in life. Prince William's wife will also represent Britain and the Crown while abroad. In particular, she is to stress how close the bonds are between the UK and Denmark's royal families. On Wednesday, she will receive an official welcome to the country from Queen Margrethe II, who is celebrating her Golden Jubilee this year. Kate will also join Crown Princess Mary, the wife of future King Crown Prince Frederick, in a visit to projects carried out by her foundation supporting vulnerable women and children escaping domestic violence. This trip to Copenhagen marks Kate's first official visit abroad since March 2020, when she visited Ireland alongside Prince William. As Kate's pictures and videos from her first engagement in Copenhagen emerged, Fashion Museum Bath said the dress Meghan Markle wore during her Oprah Winfrey interview has been chosen as dress of the year 2021 and it would go on a display. As if it was not enough to steal the limelight from Kate's visit, Meghan Markle's pictures with her husband Prince Harry and Princess Eugenie from their dinner together also surfaced online. Some royal fans think it can be a coincidence but others think the Duchess of Sussex might have intentionally done this.